Let's now talk about some more principles and strategies used for teaching vocabulary in English language classrooms. One of the most important one which could be of a special importance to English teachers uh, is focus on the importance of uh, the learning of vocabulary. They should emphasize on their students that learning of vocabulary could be of critical importance and it is probably more important than the learning of grammar rules. Uh, as I said in one of the previous modules that learning uh, a vocabulary could be very important as compared to learning of the grammar because if you miss a rule of grammar you probably miss few meanings or one or two meanings but if you miss a lexical item you miss all meanings. How to ask uh, for words and the meanings is could be an important skill uh, for young learners and teachers should be able to uh, give them confidence to ask both the words and the meanings which they do not know. And they should also uh, help them as, as they progress in the learning to paraphrase things in their own words and especially in a second language classroom this could be a very special skill. Noticing by making students notice what is important for them which or which kind of vocabulary item they should focus on and what is the possible purpose or use of those items in their academic and social lives. So they should convince their young learners that uh, learning new words could be purposeful and could enhance their motivation and learning skills. Uh, they should provide them clearly marked vocabulary lessons and make those items stand out within the classroom. They could give a list of vocabulary items to their students to learn them and then repeat them. Uh, they should also offer variety when they introduce uh, lexical items or words in the classroom. Uh, otherwise, this may become quite boring for young learners. If you offer variety in a language classroom it would become interesting and entertaining for, for the learners and they would be more uh, willing to learn lexical items. In this regard uh, teachers may use various ways of introducing vocabulary items. They could also introduce uh, practice activities uh, which engage students at different levels and these practice activities may range from simple listen and repeat activities to those uh, sophisticated activities which engage students in a meaningful use of language or vocabulary items in various social or cultural situations. Then repeat and cycle could be another important strategy because students generally need to see say and write uh, newly learned words before they, they could be considered uh, to have learned those words. Therefore, uh, a teacher should provide them opportunity to repeat those words within the classroom. Then provide opportunities to organize vocabulary items they learn. There could be various categories in which they could be organized. For example, uh, real world groups, the items which relate to uh, the real world use of a particular language they could be put in one category then students own personalized or professional categories could be made and then language based groups. Uh, language could be or vocabulary items could be organized based on various linguistic or grammatical functions of the language. Then uh, students could also make language learning or vocabulary learning personal by saying or writing true things which belong to their own personal life. They could write about uh, their own personal lives in their own personal way by using the vocabulary they have learned in a second language. And then uh, this can help our students to become independent learners. In this regard, we could also encourage our students to uh, prepare vocabulary notebooks. It's a very old method of uh, remembering or, and re recording 
uh, new words we learn about various languages. And in English language classroom, this could be sophisticated these days. Use of electronic uh, devices is very common. So teachers could uh, encourage their students to use those electronic devices, their mobiles or their computers uh, to prepare a list of their own vocabulary items. Then this uh, new developments like internet and the flow of information through mobiles, etc. could also be used in order to uh, research for various vocabulary items within a classroom. Mobile dictionaries can be very effective tool in this regard. Then uh, everyday uh, usage should be encouraged by the teachers within the classrooms and students should be encouraged to practice their newly learned vocabulary items in their daily uh, use of that language. There could be various activities for teaching vocabulary. For example, a semantic map is a very important activity. In this regard, we organize a language item and various other items which are related to it. So semantic map is considered to be a graphic organizer that helps students visually organize the relationship between one piece of information and then can be used as both pre and post reading activity. It could be done before the reading or after the reading in order to trigger their information or knowledge about a vocabulary item. And then word card is another activity in, in this activity. Learners write a word to be learned on one side of a small card and its mother tongue translation on the other. Students can play word cards with their peers to check their understanding. And this can be very effective at an early level of learning, for example, elementary level. Reading technique is one of the oldest techniques for learning a language uh, and its vocabulary. Then when diagram technique is important, it helps students learn uh, the similarities and differences between various words and their meanings. Then there could be many other activities. Some of these uh, can be cross word puzzle, anagrams, uh, word definition, uh, one word sub substitution uh, for a complete sentence, then linking words and finish the sentence or complete a sentence uh, by providing an appropriate vocabulary item in the missing place. So. Uh, there could be a variety of activities which can be used in a vocabulary teaching classroom. A good teacher should be able to judge that which activity would be more useful for his learners.